Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is a quick update to the situation over at Severo Donets. So at Severo Donets or Severo Donuts, uh, if you don't know how to pronounce this, and uh, and Lisi Chang's, uh, Lisi Chang's. So anyway, uh, okay, at the Severo Donets, um, the you can see that this estimated front line, um, this so this ov this overlay on top of the main front line that I drew. Um, so in case you are, you are, you don't know what is all these lines, so this line, this is based uh within the several donors area. This line is actually based on a, a ground reporting by reporters, but however, I think it's is not very indicative to the people what is the uh reported front lines by other people uh, other sources. So I added this in. So this are uh, this line uh is not corroborated by uh evidence uh, that means there's no reporters on the ground there is no footages no photos so it's uh this is more towards uh, uh reported uh so this is this part this one this line is actually the uh with evidence kind of uh front line so uh you can see that there is this uh change so the the previously i've reported that the russian forces had uh, taken the territory between uh, the azot plant and this bridge over as Sineski, Sineski, and uh, this push. Uh, so the Russian forces continue to push southward, and they are now fighting for this bridge here, which is also already blown up previously. But of course, uh, maybe bridges are not so difficult to repair, so it's still rather important. And they are now fighting around this area. This bridge is also known as the Lenin Bridge. I think the bridge on top is known as the uh, the what what bridge is it called? Uh, proletarian or prolet uh, proletarsky bridge. So this is the Lenin bridge. So the fighting is now around here, and it looks like the Russian forces is planning to encircle the entire two thousand five hundred uh, Ukrainian troops uh, that is now holding up uh, within the Azov plant, and twenty five percent of this two thousand five hundred is actually um foreign fighters so this will become a major haul uh, for the russians should they be able to capture all of them and um gonna they are planning to make the western powers uh, look stupid or look uh, bad uh, with this capture and the likelihood of all these 2500 uh not not not, not 2500 but uh, this maybe 650 or more uh ukrainian uh uh, these foreign fighters is going to probably be sentenced to death should they be captured because they are not protected by the uh, prisoner of war uh, uh, international agreement on how to treat uh, POWs so this, all these people will be seen as criminals and uh, to pick up weaponry to shoot at people to attempt murder uh, these uh, charges are all death sentences so which is why uh, the POW uh legislations or international agreement is important because that helps to protect soldiers um as they are just you know listening to orders and following the orders but foreign mercenaries are different they they have no business to be fighting here which is why uh pow status does, does not uh, apply to them so and there's the latest this this is actually based on the map from the russian sources there is also uh indicated indication that the russians are also pushing this direction and they have captured uh, some part of Lisna Dacha and uh, have a strong foothold within uh, Sirte Tiny, and they are pushing this work this direction, and they are pro they are going they are doing this pincer and to enclose and encircle the entire force of uh, Ukrainian forces within the Azov plant. So this is uh, the latest update from the several Donetsk region. Uh, hopefully, some of the context may make more make some sense for you if you are you have not been following this war for some for some time or uh, are new to this channel or new to this war uh but i got a feeling that we don't have a lot of new people uh because this war has dragged for some time and uh, probably the interests are waning uh so since uh, the ukrainian success is not really there uh that does not attract a lot of uh, attention from the major public uh, not to mention uh, everybody just care about amber heard and uh, johnny depp so anyway this is the quick update from the several donates front and I'll see you in the next update.